In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this automation that repurposes my TikTok videos into LinkedIn's videos, into Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. This automation can run in the background. You set up a schedule and it will look into the latest videos of your TikTok account and will push them onto those platforms. As LinkedIn just released its short form video feeds, it's just perfect timing to up on it and just start posting your videos there. But before we get into it, my name is Kevin and my school community and my YouTube channel, we are about three things. We are about not doing the boring and repetitive tasks, but also saving time using automations and AI. And lastly, we are about making it easy and simple so you don't have to worry about tech because in my community, I'm the software engineer with 15 years of experience, so you don't have to be one. Now, this automation is going to be pretty straightforward as I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to build it. But if you want to fast track the process, you can find inside my community the one click import blueprint with many others that I've built so far. Now, let's get back into building this automation. So as usual, we're going to use make.com and we're going to start with a new scenario. And the first module is we're going to connect to a tool called Appify. Appify is a platform where you can build and host scrapers for everything you can think of on the web. You can find the link to Appify just below this video alongside with all the tools that I'm using to build this automation. You can connect to it, for instance, from make.com to Appify using API, just like its name says. And the best part of Appify is what's called the Appify store. It's kind of a marketplace with pre-built scraper that are ready for you to use. So for instance, we are going to search the one that we're going to use today. It's the, let's search for TikTok. I know it's the first one. You see there's plenty of them, but this one has a lot of review. This is the one I've been using for this automation. It's called TikTok Data Extractor. So you're going to click on it. You can test it out with this interface by configuring everything in there, such as hashtags, the profile you want to scrape, search criteria, your video URL, and some more configuration right there. Now, as soon as you click on start, you're going to have the actor is going to run based on the criteria, get the data back into this section. If you go to runs, you're going to be able to see that instance of this particular run with the results and the status. But enough with what you can do with Appify. Let's get into configuring that particular scraper for this automation. So back into make.com, we're going to click to select the first module of the scenario and we're going to search for Appify. This is the one and the one we're going to select is run an actor. So when you click on that, you're going to have to connect first. You're going to do add and you're going to need to find your API token. For that, you're going to come back to Appify and you're going to go down to settings, which is going to get you here. And you're going to go to that second tab, which is API and integration. And right there, you're going to add all your personal API token. There's one by default, but I did just add an extra one that I named make.com. So this is the one that's going to be that I'm going to use for my connection to make.com. So if you want to do the same things, just do it. And then you're going to copy that API token. You're going to come back to here, paste it right here. So you can just click on save and it's going to make the connection and you're ready to go. What this is going to do is that now, because we've selected the actor before, it's going to appear in that list. So if you click on this one, which is Clockworks free TikTok scraper, it's going to select it. Then the next step, we're going to run it synchronously. Synchronously means that it's going to wait for the job to finish on Appify before proceeding to the next step in that make.com scenario. So we can do that because the goal in here is to scrape just one video. If you are building this scraper or this automation to extract all your TikTok videos and you have a ton of them, this is going to time out and not going to work if you run it synchronously. You're going to have to select no and you're going to build, have to build a separate, a different automation. So if you want to do something like that, just let me know and I'm going to make a video about it. But this one is meant for just moving videos one by one from TikTok and publish them onto the other platforms. So, and that's in that case, that's why it's possible to do this and run it synchronously. So this is one thing. Now we need to input the JSON, which is the configuration of what we want to achieve. Let's go back to the scraper and this is where we're going to configure it. Here is we set just one video in this, 
we don't need a hashtag. We're going to go to profile and right here in username, you're going to click add and you're going to put your username for TikTok for your account. Then you're going to scroll down. For this example, we do one video per day and so the last day. And the automation in Make is going to be configured to run once a day. So that's, that's another thing. We're going to exclude the pin post. Search, we don't need to do anything there. There's no video URLs. And now download videos, TikTok videos. Make sure to include this because we want the scraper to download the video so then we can access it. I'm just including everything just because why not, right? And I've named the storage for the videos like this. The run option, we don't need to configure anything there. The default settings just work. This is the resources allocated to the scraper to run on the Appify platform. You can do a test right now and do start and it's gonna run it and you're gonna find the details inside the runs. Now, for the JSON, now that we configured this, don't forget to save right here. Then you're gonna come back here and instead of seeing manual, you're gonna to go to JSON and this is the JSON file that we're gonna copy. You're gonna copy it right here. We're gonna go back to make and we're going to paste this right here. Now this, we don't need to change anything. We can just click okay and we are all set for the first step. The next step is to get the information from Appify about the data that we just scraped. For that, we're going to use another Appify step, which is this one, get data set items. We're going to click on it and we're going to use the data set ID from the previous step, which is down below default data set ID right here. We can leave everything else like this, clean the JSON, the limit to 100. We don't need it because right now we are scraping just one video. So it's, it's okay. Click okay. Now we can run the automation once. Let's go for it. That should run the actor. So it's going to connect to Appify, run the actor. So now we're done. You see it retrieved the data set. So if I open this, we can see that there's just one bundle right here with the detail. This is the captions from my TikTok video, the latest one that was posted yesterday. And if I scroll down now that we're going to see in the media URLs, we can see where the video is hosted right here. So if I open it, then we can see the video right there. It's also available in the video meta right here, all the details about the video itself. And it's the download address that we can use as well. So either ones will work. Make sure to run it once before going to the next step. So you have the all the available variable that you can add into that next step, which is downloading the video. We're going to use HTTP, get a file and the URL, we're going to use the one that I just mentioned. So we're going to search for it. It's in the video meta and it's going to be the download address. I'm going to click OK. Now we've downloaded the video. So the next step is going to be posting on the other platform. And what we want to add here is a router. So if we go to flow control and we're going to use a router, now we have multiple routes that we can set that up. So the first one, let's do LinkedIn because it's becoming popular right now. They just released that short feed for videos. So you might want to open that train and just start posting there. So if you've created all your TikTok videos already, you might as well just do that and send them over to LinkedIn. So we're going to connect to LinkedIn. I'm going to click LinkedIn right here and we're going to create a user video post. Now, by default, I mean, if you haven't connected LinkedIn, you just click add and create the connection to your LinkedIn profile. By default, it's going to set the file from the HTTP get a file, which is exactly what we want. That's going to be upload the video. At the title, we don't necessarily need one and the content is going to be the text. So right now, I'm just going to be reusing the text, the caption that I'm using on TikTok. So I can go and find that out, which is right here. It's from the data set step and it's the text. So let me remove that. I'm just going to use the text. The title is not mandatory. I think that's there's no, it's not necessary for having it in the short feed. And we're going to set the visibility to public, leave the main feed as the feed distribution and is reshare disabled. I'm leaving it to no. Now we can click OK and we are set for the post on LinkedIn. Now the next one we're going to use 
Instagram. So you need an Instagram for business account. So don't select Instagram, but select Instagram for business. If you don't have an Instagram for business, I suggest you change your personal Instagram account into a business one. And we're gonna do create a real post. So for this one, we're gonna establish the connection. We're gonna have a, select the page that you wanna post on, which is your account. And we're gonna provide the video URL. And for that, so we don't use the file directly, but we can use the video URL, the downloadable link from the data set. So we're gonna go back into this step, into the data set, and we're gonna use the download address again, right here. Now for the captions, I'm also for simplicity of this automation, just reusing the text. And if you wanna add a cover frame, you can. You just need to select the seconds of the video you want it to be. So it has to be kind of random right here. And if you wanna share it to the feed or not, you decide with this radio button. You click OK. Now we are set for Instagram. Now let's add a third route and we're gonna add YouTube for the YouTube shorts. So if I search YouTube, I'm gonna select upload a video and now we're gonna configure it. So same thing, you will need to connect to your YouTube channel. Just click on add and follow the procedure to log in and connect. Now for the title, there's a limit of less than 100 characters. So I'm gonna just copy that formula and build it, which is this substring. And I'm gonna select the text. So it's just a quick and dirty way to just create the title for the YouTube video. It's gonna reuse whatever I set in the captions. So I try to start always my captions on my TikTok video with something like a short sentence that's punchy. So it's just gonna take the first 99 characters of the entire captions that are that is posted on TikTok and use that as the title for the YouTube short. But again, it's a YouTube short. It's not, I believe, the most important thing to have like a proper title. And then we're gonna select the video category, science and technology, the privacy status, that's where you decide if you want it to be public or right from there, or if you want to just be private and then release them later. But I'm gonna go with public and you can set a description if you want to. Again, for shorts, I don't think that's necessary. So I don't put one. And is this video made for kids? I leave it to know. And click OK. Okay, sometimes we need to click OK a second time so this disappear. Exactly. All right, and now we have the automation ready and good to go so you can post directly onto the platforms. One last thing to add, um, you might post on TikTok longer form videos. And as you know, uh, there's a limit on YouTube, which now went from 60 seconds up to uh, three minutes. So if there's anything that's above those three minutes that you post on TikTok, we don't want that to go over onto YouTube. So we're gonna add a condition and we're gonna search in the data set item, we're gonna search the length of the video. So we go into video meta and we look for duration. This one is 35 seconds. So I'm gonna use this and you're gonna add the text operator. You're gonna scroll down to numeric operator and do if it's less than, and this is where we're gonna put 180. And then we're gonna click okay. So we have that filter. So if your video on TikTok is about five minutes, then it's just gonna be filtered out and not go and be posted on YouTube because otherwise it goes into the, the main video feed, not the short one. So make sure to add that filter. Now, all that said, we're gonna run this automation right now. So I'm gonna show you on my TikTok account, the latest video is about repurpose TikTok automatically. It's the video I just made about that particular automation. The previous one is something about the uh, receipt reports. And you're gonna check, we're gonna see that on my LinkedIn profile, that latest one is about the automated expense report. On my Instagram, you can see it's still the automated expense report in the reels. On my YouTube shorts is the same thing. It's the automated expense report. So now that we have this one as a new one, let's run the automation and go. Now it's posting on LinkedIn. Now it's posting on Instagram. And now it's posting on YouTube Shorts.
Now, if I refresh my LinkedIn feed, you can see that there's a new video posted about repurpose TikTok automatically. If I refresh my Instagram page, we're going to see a repurpose TikTok automatically that just been posted. And if I refresh my short page on my YouTube channel, now there's a new video that's called repurpose TikTok video. So again, if you want to get access to all the templates you saw today and join a community where you can get all your tech questions answered, or you can jump into calls and talk to me on a daily basis, then jump into the Afford Free Time community. There is a course about make.com and how to get started and a bunch of other cool templates like the ones you saw in the video today. I hope to see you there. Hope you enjoyed this video and the automation that allows you to repurpose TikTok automatically onto all those other platforms, especially the LinkedIn, which is becoming something popular because the feature has just been released and you can still be an early adopter of the short form video feed there. So I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.